if you want more Wyvern gem shards, then this video is for you. Now, Monster Hunter Now's end game revolves around this material, and you will need a lot of them for upgrades, but they are notoriously very difficult to get. It can take you weeks or even months of farming before you can even get one. So if you want to get your hands on these precious materials, then I'll show you two ways on how you can increase your odds of getting one. I've been getting a lot more Wyvern Gem Shards by simply doing these two things. And not doing these two things may be the reason why you're not getting any Wyvern Gem Shards. So the problem with Wyvern Gem Shards is that their drop rates are extremely low coupled with the fact that they only drop from 8-star monsters and above. And when you first unlock these 8-star monsters, they will rarely spawn on your map. The low drop rates of Rarity 6 materials plus the low spawn rate of 8-star monsters means you'll have super low chances of getting Wyvern Gem Shards. So we can't do anything about the drop rates. That's a Niantic problem. What we can do is affect the spawn rates of 8-star monsters and tip the scales to our favor. We can do that by unlocking 9-star monsters. When you unlock 9-star monsters, 8-star monsters will start to spawn more frequently. The game system is very simple. The way it works is that when you unlock 9-star monsters, the 7-star monsters that were previously spawning on your map get one more star added to them, and now they will be the ones spawning as 8-star monsters. So with this in mind, your goal should be rushing through the story and trying to unlock 9-star monsters as fast as possible. But the 8-star urgent quests will be very difficult to complete. That's why you should focus on building your elemental armor sets and crafting a weapon for each element, upgrading them to at least grade 7 level 5. Elemental builds will be the fastest way you can get access to more damage without needing any wyvern gem shards. Once you complete your elemental builds, you should have enough damage to hunt down any 8-star monster and complete the urgent quests without the need for any wyvern gem shards. Don't worry about farming for Wyvern Gem Shards at this stage. You will only get frustrated by the low drop rates. Instead, focus on completing the urgent quests as fast as possible. Your goal is to complete the story once again and have more 8-star monsters spawning on your map, since the more 8-star monsters you can hunt increases your chances of getting Wyvern Gem Shards. Since I've been encountering a lot more 8-star monsters, I've been getting one Wyvern Gem Shard every week. It's still going to take about a month before I can overgrade my grade 7 weapons to grade 8, but the chances of getting a Wyvern Gem Shard this time around is better than before. But this solution still does not address the drop rate problem. Now, Niantic states that the materials obtained from a successful large monster hunt are random regardless of the hunt's completion time, as are materials obtained as part break rewards. But according to the MHN.Quest website, breaking specific parts will determine what materials will drop. Like for example, breaking the head of a Rathalos can reward players with prime scales, but cutting the tail can reward you with rarity 2, 3s, 5, and 6 materials. This means that part break bonus rewards will not drop Wyvern Gem Shards if you only break the head. It will only drop if you cut the tail. Now we have no way of confirming if MHN.Quest is accurate, but I have experienced firsthand where I broke the head of the Jura Todus and it rewarded me with a Wyvern Gem Shard. This information might just be placebo, but I'm still going to try and break these parts just to be safe. Now it's going to be difficult to remember which part you should break for each and every monster. Usually it's either you need to break the head or cut the tail. The general rule that I follow is that if you can cut a monster's tail, then cut the tail. It will be the one dropping the wyvern gem shot. If not, then break the head. But there are exceptions to this rule. Like for example, Giros, Diablos, Radoban, and Banburo 
even though you can cut off their tails, breaking their head or their horns will be the one dropping the gem. For Legiana, you have to break its wings. So for melee weapons, Legiana is the worst 8 star monster you can farm for Wyvern Gem Shards. For Jagras, it's in a weird spot. You have to break its forelegs. Now, the problem with the forelegs is it's not a weak spot, so you might have some trouble dealing enough damage to complete the hunt. Now, that's gonna be a huge problem for most of these monsters, since for majority of them, the tail is not their weak spot. And to be honest with you, the tail is so much harder to hit. So if you're going to struggle to hunt down a monster while targeting their non-weak spots, my suggestion is just focus on dealing the most damage you can to complete the hunt. You will still have 4 chances to get a Wyvern Gem Shard even if you don't break that specific part. So the best monsters to farm are monsters that drop Wyvern Gem Shards when you break their weak spots like Jiros, Tobi, Juratotus, and Banbaro. They are easy monsters to hunt and you won't have any problems dealing damage and breaking the necessary parts, since the parts you need to break are also their weak spots. So for Jiros, Jura, and Banbaro, target their heads and for Tobi, target the tail. So those are two ways you can increase your odds of getting Wyvern Gem Shards. You need to break specific parts on the monster that can drop Wyvern Gem Shards, and you need to increase the spawn rates of 8 star monsters by unlocking 9 star monsters. To do all that, you will need the right builds. So be sure to check out this video right here where I give you 5 meta builds you can use to farm for Wyvern Gem Shards. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.